So, EA is about to ruin Madden 25. Let's talk about it. So, this is actually not the worst thing in the world. And I know saying that is going to trigger so many people. But, if you go about this correctly, it's not the worst thing in the world. EA wants to add a premium field pass to Madden. Now, we all knew this eventually would happen down the line. It was, you know, inevitable, as, you know, Thanos would say. Eventually, it was going to happen. But, again, this is very much like Fortnite. Except, you wouldn't be paying money to get custom things that aren't, like... In Fortnite, it doesn't actually affect gameplay. It's just, like, cosmetic stuff. This would be affecting gameplay. But, here's the reason why it's not horrific. You can't do it this year. Because this year's already happened, right? But if you do it next year, and you make it so that the game is free moving forward, so no longer $60 title, $121.50, don't make the... Like, if EA got, wanted to do this correctly for the consumer, don't make... Make a free game. Madden, for now on, is free. But if you want to pay for the premium field pass, it's, it's $60, Right, and every season is six, or maybe not sixty dollars every season. Let's say it's I don't know twenty dollars every season. So it's six seasons, twenty dollars every season. That's a hundred and twenty dollars. That's not bad, because right now you're paying what one fifty at this moment in time for the um, MVP bundle between um, Madden and EA Sports College Football Twenty Five. But even if you just bought Madden, it would cost you $100 plus dollars if you buy and the Ultimate Edition. So instead of spending $100 for the Ultimate Edition, instead, you're, gonna, you're not going to spend any money. You're going to get the game for free. And if you want to stay free, you can stay free. But if you don't want to stay free and you want to get the premium field pass, you can do so. Now, the problem is, and this is actually what really, reality-wise, we know EA Sports, the EA Sports is absolute scumbags. They're not going to follow that po policy. They're going to go down the 2K route and try to make everything about money. And if you spend more money, you're going to get better cards and you're going to be able to win. It's going to ruin Madden. In reality, they could use this in a correct way to 100% make the game actually really interesting. But reality-wise, EA Sports are scumbags, and they're going to use this to ruin the game. Um, but they could do it like that. They could do the Fortnite route, and they could make the game free and say, Hey, listen, you don't have to spend money on Madden. That could be a huge selling point in anything. Hey, you don't have to spend the money on Madden, but if you do, we do have packs you can buy. We have bundles you can buy, and we do have a field pass that you can grind out yourself. But if you want all the content right away and you don't want to grind it, you can spend money to get the stuff right away. They could do that. Again, they won't because they're scumbags. And they'll make it so that you can you have to spend $60, $120 for the game. And you also have to go ahead and spend $100 for this field pass. And it will probably give you the best content possible. That's what they're probably going to do because they're scumbags. But at the end of the day, they could get around this. And they could avoid this, like avoid, they could make this a good thing, right? I don't think they will. I just know EA Sports and we've seen them over the years and we've seen them every single second, you know, on this channel. And they're scumbags. They won't, if you give them something that could be positive, they're turning it negative. You know, everything they touch turns to stone because this is how they work. So again, like I said, there's ways to do this correctly. There's ways to implement this. You can't do it this year because everyone already bought the game. But you could, or, or if you wanted to, you could actually make the field pass free and say, hey, listen, everyone who bought the game, you everyone gets one free season. And then moving forward, it costs $20 per season. But most likely, if you're going to do this the correct way, you start this next year. And next year, you say, guys, moving forward, we're not charging for Madden anymore. Now, I will praise Devil's Advocate here and why this could be a bad thing for EA if they did this, is that pre-orders are a humongous thing, right? And pre-orders, 
it really it helps out the stockholders when it comes to companies so that's why they're so amped and so anal about getting pre-orders because it shows stockholders hey listen you should invest your money into us because look how much money we make from pre-orders look how many pre-orders we have people want to play our game people want to you know use our product so if you should be giving us money and that's how they do it really that's how why they go crazy about pre-orders but again like i said you know they could do something with that they could even say hey listen we're gonna manage free but if you want to pre-order the game it's gonna cost you i don't know they could even group it in with the field pass they could say twenty dollars and if you pre-order the game you get custom uniforms Maybe like they do like now with like the you get some Madden points, you get this, this, that, and the third, plus you get season one in the field pass. It's 20 bucks. Where if you didn't pre order it, you would just have to spend $20 day one for the field pass and you wouldn't get add all the extra content. Like again, like this, this is a way they could do it and it could help out the community and not be horrendously bad. It's still gonna be bad because it's you're paying your way to get the best cards. But, I mean, people buy bundles anyway, so it's the same concept in that category. It's just, that way, if, you, if you're if you like, hey, listen, I don't want to spend any money, you don't. You don't have to spend any money on the game. Because it's free. You know? And if you, I want to spend the time and grind and I don't want to spend money, you could literally go, no money spent, period. And what they could also do is give you, like, three-day early access for the you know, pre-order. So you're spending $20 early, but you're getting pre-order, early access, and other content. So, again, like, there's ways to do this that isn't horrendous and effing over the community. The problem is EA Sports is not, does not care. And it's like, so this is why I'm always, I always trash EA Sports. And I always say, don't spend money on the game. Don't spend money on packs. Don't spend money on the bundle. Don't do any of this crap. Because at the end of the day, and I'm probably like the only YouTuber I feel like who says that stuff, because these these are scumbags. They're scumbags. This is what they do. I just gave you a foolproof plan, a seven-level plan on how they could still make the stockholders happy, they could make the community happy, they could make tons of money, and they could still be very successful. And guess what? They're scumbags. Those, they said, that plan doesn't make them enough money. Do they need as much money as they think they need or they want? No, but they're greedy scumbags, and it is just how it works. Oh, this company kills me, man. It really does. But if they bring this to the game and they don't do the way I said it, and they just make it so that, oh, you it's, it's an extra field pass you'd spend money on, they're going to ruin the game. 100% they're going to ruin the game.